Good morning. I am now about to blend my kale water and I remembered you. So this is what the kale looks like. I'm sure you've seen it. I'm positively sure you've seen it. Some people use it as a salad, um, like lettuce, because it can be eaten raw. But it's much more firmer. This is freshly grown. The ones in the supermarkets, it's, it's much softer. This is a thicker leaf. I prefer this as opposed to the one in the supermarket. Let me say I try to get a little closer for you to see it. Really similar to that of a lettuce. You don't eat the stems in it. You have to pull the stem out by holding the top and just sliding down your fingers along it. I've done some. I started doing it as I said. You see, I just you kind of ripping the leaves off the stem and then I cut it up in the blender. I cut it up and then I put it in the blender. I'll show you when I'm finished. Okay, so it doesn't really take um, that long to take the leaves, the stems. You see, these are all the stems um, that came out. I just pulled the leaves apart and you're basically leaving the stem. This is too harsh, so you don't really want to use this. Right, so as I said, I cut the leaves up and it's almost filled to the blender because I want to get three glasses of the kale water or kale juice, right? So I'm going to put water just enough for it. Hold on. Okay. All right, so I'm putting the water in. I'm doing everything so you can see, right? I don't fill it up with um, water. I just let the water barely cover the leaves because I don't want excess water. I want really the kale itself, right? I don't want it to water down. So just as soon as it covers the leaves is when. So it doesn't matter how much um, I'm doing. Right, so again, I have a completely full blender, but... If you are doing it for yourself um, you don't have to do so much of it I do this amount every single day because I want three glasses from this I have one in the morning and I have one late in the evening about after six or thereabout and I make one for Noel so he just has one one a day just about maintaining his health that's why he has it so if you're doing it usually I would use about two leaves um, per glass this here is um, seven leaves, right, that I have. And um, again, it looks plenty because this is the local kale. And you just want enough water just to cover the leaves, you see? You don't want water all up here and then the kale quiet down here because then it will be too watered down. You want the benefits of the kale. All right, hold on. You want to liquefy this until there's no chunks, literally as if it was, if it's water that you're drinking. So you can have it with a straw, no clumps or anything like that. Now it's a bit froty, which is normal. I'm trying to see if I can show you. Okay, let me pour it out in a glass and you'll see. So I have the three glasses here already. These are the sizes that I'm using to pour the drink in. Hold on. Okay. So this is what it looks like. I want to see if I can write. Great. You see, it's just like water. It's as if the color has just turned green, and that's what you want. And the mere idea that you're able to um, see how green it is, that alone tells you how good this is for you. It's like. I like to say liquid gold right so it's still a bit frothy in here and I'm just gonna throw the remnants in here see so I'm so accustomed making it <laughs> it is exactly three glasses I hope that you can see them trying to show you in the light how green this is my door that's slamming there so it's just pure green right so this is it you put a straw in it or you can drink it just like that now the residue of the kale will remain to the bottom so you may have to keep stirring it up a little bit just to ensure that you get all the goodies that you can still you can see kind of I'm trying to hold the glass without turning it but you can see it's already starting to settle it settles quite quickly yeah, and you drink it. You don't have to gulp it down, but you just drink it, you know, as you would drink some water. The remnants 
of this froth, I'm going to add water to it and kind of stir it around, stir it around and put it in a glass. So there you have it. My kale water, which is my regime. Every morning I have it on an empty stomach and then I have it later in the afternoon. It's filled with chlorophyll oxygen for your blood. So try it out. I guarantee you the, the first taste of it is just green. It's not a bitter taste or anything like that. It's just a green taste and you get accustomed to it and you just drink it. I, I, from the minute you start drinking it, you feel the difference. Try it.